Confidence is huge. It can be misleading at times because it's confidence is sometimes tough to judge. Sometimes we think the loudest person in the room or the person who's the most talkative or the smartest person in the room, they're the most confident. And many times that's not the case. Many times that's just their insecurities. So I find confidence really tough to measure. I always try to look at things and I, and I want to see how confident a person is in his approach. And I think confidence and arrogance are close cousins. They look the same to the outside. The difference is when you push on it, arrogance has no substance behind it and it very quickly collapses. If I'm going to take that confidence narrative and use it as a tool, I, I want to understand what are your sources of confidence? What are you drawing upon to create this confidence. And that's the part that gives controllability back to the individual. If you've got, if you're excellent at taking care of your body, you do all those things, those preventatives to prevent injury, you're eating well, you're sleeping well, you're getting all the prehab in, you're practicing with great effort and focus, you're developing your skills, you're spending extra time at night on your film study to really hone in on the mental game. And you go throughout that week and you have a really good week of practice then you have, should have good confidence levels going into that game. But I will say this, confidence can be, has a downside too. And I think that's where you have to be realistic in, in appraised situations because some of the most confident people are also are your greatest risk takers. And sometimes they get themselves into situations where they can't get out. So if you were to ask me like the composition of a team, I don't want 10 highly confident people doing something really dangerous because I need a couple of people that are going to question the plan. So that's where having self-doubt can be good. Self-doubt we look at as a negative thing. And it really it's not self-doubt in and of itself is neither good nor bad. It's how you use it. So if you use, I know players who are super high performers who had all pro careers and have retired that had high levels of self-doubt. But what they did was is it caused them to be great planners. They would anticipate and think things through. They, they would think the future through. They would realistically appraise that. They would understand the requirements and they would spend huge amounts of time in preparation to develop a level of confidence to overcome that. So if self-doubt fuels your planning and your preparation, it can be good. But for some people, it, it demotivates them get into the spiral of I'm not good enough or am I good enough or, and that's where it becomes a detriment to performance. You want a person or two on your team has some doubt though. 